Hello, friend. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? <laughs> My hope is that you are all well. That was Mushtik. He's one of our 16 year olds at Don Bosco Ashalayam. And when he was five, he had this huge fas fascination for trains. And he was messing around in his village station, jumping on the train and jumping off. And then without warning, the train left. So this frightened five year old finds himself alone on a platform in Kolkata. And thankfully, the Silesians get to him before some of the other unscrupulous characters who are on the lookout for unaccompanied kids. God only knows what would have happened to him. So Mushtek is one of the lucky ones, even luckier than Kylie Minogue. Where did she come from? Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. He's one of the lucky ones because there are kids who are on the streets for whatever reason and are picked up by people who abuse them. Behind that wonderful smile of Mushtek lies a deep sadness that we've never been able to track his family down because when he came to us he was so young that he only knew the first name of his mother and father which was not enough for us to be able to find his family for him. Mushek, however, always remains grateful that we found him and that we have looked after him and will do so until he's able to stand on his own two feet. Now, folks, let me take you on a journey to meet the man behind all this good work. Look who I'm with, the great Don Bosco himself. Now, you all know that Jesus said to Don Bosco that he needed to look after young people and those young people who were in need in particular. And that's why we're as Salesians involved in Don Bosco Ashal. I am looking after the boys there. And you may think, well, I'm not a Salesian priest or a brother or a sister, so what's it got to do with me? It's got everything to do with you because in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says at the end of the world, he will take to paradise all those people who feed the hungry, who give um, drink to the thirsty, who clothe um, those without clothes, etc, etc. You know um, the passage. So, this is what we are doing. When you fundraise, when you put food in the mouth of those kids, you are following the gospel. You are doing as Jesus asked and you're making a difference in our world. I meant what I said in that video clip from Turin that we do make a difference through the fundraising because 90% of the costs of the homes that we have in Kolkata are funded through your fundraising. So that's food, that's clothing, that's education, that's medicines, visits to the doctors, all that and much, much more. So thank you on behalf of all those kids for all you're doing. You may be wondering where I am. Well, clearly I'm no longer there and I'm no longer in Turin. I'm back here, folks, Union Jack. I'll leave the final word with some of our lads from Don Bosco Ashalayam. I hope that whatever you do in life will be good. I will pray for all of you. So, bye! Oh my goodness, forget it. <laughs>